y'all we're back at the UCI station and we are gonna fill up only have about 80 miles left we're at the air product station here $29.99 per kilogram I'm gonna enter a zip code there's no one here it's just me it's a Saturday afternoon and today, as we are filling, I'm gonna to talk to you about the future plans of this guy right here. So, no receipt, please. So far, it was smooth up until the receipt screen. We're still waiting here. No receipts. What if I say yes, receipt? As we wait for that, uh, nothing has really changed here much, but uh, we are on the corner or the intersection of Jamboree and Campus, if you're familiar. So if you're taking the 405 that way, or you can come off the five and then go straight down Jamboree. Um, yes, let's see if we have any update with this. Oh, it says approved, great. One moment, please. So there was a big of a bit of a hang up there, but not too bad. It's in there. And I just, and we're filling. So far, so good. Anyway, so let's talk about the future of this Mirai XLE 2022. So let me flip the camera here. I, um, all right, anyway, car behind me is my 2022 Mirai XLE in white with some uh, dealer installed uh, black trim, black wheels, whatever. Uh, but it's coming to an end. Uh, and I can say that with confidence, not because, not just because I want to sell it, it's because I need to sell it. Let me explain. Like many of you, um, or I, I would say majority of you, unless you love coughing up 50 cents, 53 cents a mile. Um, $180 plus per tank is unsustainable. Um, but yeah, that's essentially it. The fuel cart is running out. I have, if I, based on the, the driving that I do, I estimate that this, the fuel cart will be done in about, um, I think five or six months. So in five to six months, that car is going to be out of here. Uh, generally speaking, I enjoyed the car. It drives really great. I've started to no notice a couple creaks, which I'll go over. Nothing dramatic, but good Toyota build quality. Um, I think the car looks fantastic. Some people don't think so, but I think it looks great. Um, practicality wise, not so good. Back seats are really tight. Um, I would say if you have kids, it's okay, but the door opening is not is very narrow as well so um if you're i guess just married single or something like that um not a bad car or you're retired perhaps it could be okay if the infrastructure was better but the car itself i think looks great um but here let me show you so granted this side the the seat's pretty far back but still that side is not so much the leg room is pretty bare and uh the middle seat is just, the way I see it, it's kind of like a Porsche rear seat, useless. Um, gotta look sparkling water here, but anyway. So when you get in, you have to kind of get your butt over this hump and then kind of slide in. It's not a smooth process and you have to kind of get over this, uh, the C pillar, if you will, or the C pillars here, but this general area, it's not a, easy entry exit and then you can see here it's just a small entry exit for your feet so that's not that great you can't fold down the rear seats so the the trunk space is pretty impractical but car itself is great but it's coming to an end uh five to six months this is going to be out of here uh from what i've been reading dealerships are pretty much the only way to really sell the car um so they can toyota that is so they can cpo it and potentially sell it again 
I have been getting I've gotten an, I've gotten an update from CarMax. I know that's not the most. It's a very extreme, very very conservative valuation. But when I initially went there about almost a year ago now, I believe it was. Uh, I think they offered me about nine thousand dollars, give or take. Now I just got an email update um, from CarMax, which I went to, and Carvana, which offered me a similar price. They offered me, uh, I think it was four thousand dollars. So that cut in half. I don't know how true that is. It may have been an automated email, but nevertheless, um, if that is true, and which I think it is, if unless they have some email issues, some automation issues. But uh, anyway, valuation's not there, so. Toyota seems to be the best way to sell it for the most bang for buck. And I assume if you're going to go into another Toyota car, they'll cut you some sort of deal. But uh, for many of you, this car means negative equity. Many of those that are returning this car have negative equity in the car. Underwater, that is. And if you don't know what that means, it's essentially you owe more than what the car is worth. Um... So even if you applied all of your rebates, um, like your rebates from California and all that stuff, and you applied it to the car's value, you'd still be underwater. Like, here, but here we go. And the total is 120 for four kilograms. Let's see if it's full. I don't think it's full. Let's take a look. Car just pulled in. Looks like another XLE 2020 or the second gen that is. And full tank 348. And I will say the past couple of fills have been very nice. Nice as in um, very good. Not the experience of filling necessarily, but the mileage estimates. It's the highest I've gotten in my whole ownership um, experience. But anyway, so five to six months, this is going to be gone. Um, let me know what you think. I am leaning on not going with hydrogen next, not because, well, yeah, I'm thinking about not going with hydrogen next and um, I'll keep you all posted. I'll try to be more informed and expand beyond just kind of daily life with the hydrogen car content. I'll try to follow the um, kind of the trends and industry news about this car or the infrastructure in general. I know Honda supposedly is gonna release an SUV. I believe it's called the, I think it was the prologue but um i know they're thinking about that so we'll see how it goes but let me know what you think in the comments um what you would like to see from this channel if this car was to go away or it would not be replaced with another hydrogen car um but yeah let me know i know probably most of you are going to be type you guys are probably typing in tesla already i'm not going to get a tesla not because i don't like teslas in general but Everyone has a Tesla. There's nothing new or interesting to create content from with a Tesla unless I build like a solar panel trailer or something weird like that. Um, so let me know what you think, um, out of the box thinking. And, um, and perhaps it's just back to a quote unquote normal um, ice car. So let me know. But in the meantime, my mindset is even if the car is gone, I'm going to focus, um, this channel should still support awareness around hydrogen, um, or at least spark discussion. Um, I know a lot of my content hasn't been, um, I guess, hyper researched and articulate. It's kind of like a vlog day in the life with a hydrogen car. But, um, if I was to go down the route of kind of awareness and be be a little bit more professional in terms of journalism um what kind of content would you like to see but let me know in the comments thank you for watching i'll see you on the next one